All right guys, so for today's video, I was originally planning to go bank fishing for bowfin, pike, carp, catfish, just whatever decided to bite. But as I was walking down this path here to get to my spot, I noticed in one particular calm area, there was about one to 200 spawning carp just swarming the banks. And uh, this is just too good of an opportunity to pass up. So I think what I'm gonna do, head back to my Jeep, grab my carp fishing gear, and we're gonna see if we can hook into a few spawning carp right on the bank. All right, so the spot where I originally saw the carp in the first place was right here, but I'm guessing since the spot where I normally fish for carp is only about 100 yards down the path, and that spot's even more open than this one, I'm guessing that they're also gonna be down there, so I'm gonna go down there and give that spot a try first because honestly, this place is gonna be super hard to fish. There's a big drop off and almost like a cliff kind of in the bank. So I think that spot's gonna be really difficult to fish. So I'm gonna go try down by my carp spot. And if that doesn't work, then uh, I guess we'll have no choice but to go right there. But you know, this spot's gonna be much easier to record and much easier to fish. And judging by the number of tail fins sticking out of the water, my assumption was correct. So I guess if there's quite a few of them here, we'll give this spot a good healthy try. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm seeing lots of carp in there. Yeah, this is gonna be a good spot. Oh, that's fish. Got him. <laughs> oh, this is fun. This is definitely fun. Uh, these guys aren't the biggest, but they sure do fight. You really have to slam the hook set too, because they, uh, these guys are really aggressive, but their mouths are also kind of hard in some places. I mean, their lips are kind of soft, but otherwise their mouths are kind of bony. Oh, there we go guys first fish of the day nice little probably one or two pounder but hey it's a good start there you go bud oh that's fish um yeah not exactly what i was expecting but it's a fish oh what the heck dude might have to use you as bait. All right, never mind. I'm not gonna use this guy for bait. I didn't snag him too bad, so there you go, little bud. Oh, that's a bite. I got him, but he's stuck. Ah, oh, that was a decent one too. That's a good one. <laughs> no, it's not. Never mind. He just fought really hard at the beginning. Woo. Another one on the bank. Yep, there it is. Got him. That was a terrible hook set. He's probably gonna come off. Or maybe not. All right, there we go. Another fish on the bank. Oh, he was hooked right through the nose. I feel bad. Not really through the nose, but right through the head. Sorry about that, buddy. Yeah. All right, there you go. All right, guys, so it looks like the action here is really slowing down. And this also gives me a perfect opportunity to go try out something else that I've been wanting to do, which is fish at the spot where I originally saw all the carp. It looks like a pretty good spot. It's gonna be a little bit harder to film, 
because of the giant cliff and it's probably not going to be a, a very good angle but we're still going to give it a shot i've been kind of wanting to try there all day so and with that said let's go out over there and see if we can catch something All right guys, so we've made it here to the new spot where I originally saw all the fish. And first looking at it, I'm gonna have to do this one of two ways and both of which definitely have their pros and cons. First one is to stand up here, cast into the water and hope I get a small one that I can just bank flip. Or the other option is to try to crawl down this hill and not fall in the water. And looking at this I think I'm gonna have to do the second one because I see some pretty big fish down there so I think what I'm actually gonna do is cast in okay that was a terrible cast I'm gonna redo that there we go and then I'm just gonna over the best okay I think we're good and I just saw probably two like five pounders just sitting right here so all we gotta do is wait. There we go. That's a better one. I didn't even know he was on. That one's like five for sure, maybe six. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to land this guy. Okay, I think over here's gonna be my best bet. She's hooked really well. Ah, oh, there we go, okay. There we go. Oh, we got him, okay. There we go, guys. Nice river carp. Probably about four or five pounds. This is the biggest one we've caught all day, so. I don't really have anywhere to like land this guy or take pictures of him, so we're just gonna set him back in the water and unhook him. There we go. There you go, buddy. Whew. Well, that was much more intense than anything we had at the other spot. There is an unbelievable amount of snags here. As you can see, we've got like probably five or six fallen trees right there, stick in the water right there, some random piece of metal, probably from a truck or something over there, fallen tree. I mean, it's an absolute mess down here and we somehow got him out of there. Alright guys, so we definitely didn't set any size records for carp today, but I think that is the fastest that I've ever gone through 30 night crawlers in my life. I was breaking them in half, so I technically pretty much went through 60 pieces of bait in about 45 minutes. So the action was definitely pretty crazy today, and we did catch some pretty crazy fish. But before we end the video, I did mention something in the intro about uh, some changes I was going to make to my channel and my uploads and stuff. So I wanna talk about that real quick. Now to start things off, if you guys have ever seen my old videos, then you'll probably notice that I barely edited them at all. I basically cut out when I didn't catch anything and just showed myself catching fish, did a simple intro, simple outro, all that stuff. Now, as I've gotten more comfortable in front of the camera and more comfortable with my editing software, I've began to do lots of fancy cinematics and stuff. I mean, they definitely aren't the best edits ever, but they still are improving and they definitely take a lot more time than they used to. So with that being said, I know I don't upload that often, but I haven't been enjoying making videos as much as I used to. And I think part of that is because I've been focusing way too much on cinematics. I mean, it literally takes me an hour to film the intro, 
all the edit shots and stuff I want to do for the video before I can actually start fishing. And by then I'm already kind of just ready to go home and I don't really want to film anymore. So with that being said, I don't want to make any major changes to my channel and there will definitely still be some cinematic edits and stuff, but I think I'm just going to have to stop doing the cinematic stuff in every single video. Right now I'm trying to do like crazy edits at the beginning of my videos every single time and it's just not working. It's way too stressful. I don't want to just spend all my time doing that. So with that said, I think I'm going to cut down on the edits a little bit during my videos and maybe just switch it up to like one in every three videos has it edit at the beginning or just special occasions like for my pike series for example i'll still do cinematics there but just for normal videos like this one i kind of want to cut that down a little bit and just kind of enjoy it a little bit more so that's all i really wanted to tell you guys it's just been, been getting a little stressful and it's just been getting to my head a little bit so i just had to get that off my chest also i don't want to rant on too long but i completely forgot to mention that another thing that's been getting to my head is the intros and outros. Now what I'm talking about when I say this is I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to intros and outros. Now what I mean by that is I always want them to be as professional and perfect as possible, even if that means redoing them 15 or 20 times sometimes. And it's just been getting way too stressful. I'm spending 20 minutes on end doing intros and I think it's just gotta end. So the videos from now on are gonna be a little bit more laid back. I know, I'm, I mean, I'm still gonna try to make them good. And I know that some of you guys really like the professionalism, but just for my own sanity, I've gotta chill it out a little bit, just make more laid back intros and outros. And so with that said, we're gonna end the video here. Today's daily shout out goes to Graham Wheeler. Thank you for subscribing. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.